Now, what you worked out with Dennison no longer applies. We will do this my way, and that's final. Are you okay? Oh, I'm just fine. I always yell at my city editor like this. I'm going to get a grip on things. Briggs quits me. I might as well shut down a paper. I spoke to Tom earlier. Uh-huh. He said he couldn't work for you any longer. Well, that's a two-way street. I can't work with him either. Well, he didn't give me any details. Mm -hmm. Probably because he feels guilty. Want some coffee? No, thanks, Clint. I'm not even sure I should be here. No, no. It's uh, kind of nice to have someone around here who isn't finding fault with me over one thing or another. Uh, something you wanted? Yes, I wanted... I wanted if... if you've heard from Cordero. No, I haven't heard a word. Not a postcard, nothing. Where the hell are they, anyway? Well, I... I don't know, and, and that's the problem. I'm, I'm sort of worried. I mean, this sudden trip was so strange. I have... I've got a bad feeling about this, and I'm... Maybe I shouldn't be, but I'm... I'm... I'm worried, Clint, that... I'm... I'm worried about our son. such a fast rate of speed, I can't even clock it. I suppose Vicky is refusing to seek treatment. Oh, hell, she refuses to even admit to the slightest possibility that Nikki Smith exists. According to her, I'm calling her a liar, and I've lost all faith in her, and She's so angry, she wants me to move out of the land fair. Oh, Clint, this must be killing you. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because of the children. Because if there is the slightest possibility that Nikki Smith does exist, she could harm them. We're headed for a showdown, Maria, and I'm not sure who's going to win. I'm not even sure what the hell winning means anymore. I feel so awful for you. And Vicky, of course. Yes, and then there's your good friend, Tom Dennison. I thought he was your good friend, too, and Vicky. Vicky's maybe not mine. Maybe Vicky's. You know, frankly, I think there's... Uh, I'm beginning to think there's a lot more on that man's mind than just friendship. You know, uh, you know him pretty good. Is he the kind of fellow that would try and steal another man's wife? Oh, no, no. I, I can't imagine that he is. Well, it, it is obvious that he cares for Vicky. And, but, you know, as long as I've known Tom, I've never known him to be serious about any woman in particular. Well, he's serious now. He's damn serious. 
and there's nothing lower to me than a, than a fellow that move in on a couple and take advantage of their problems to try and break them up. And every every minute the situation gets worse. I I know that that I can't really help you, but I want you to understand that I'm here for you, Clinton. You, you can use me as a sounding board if you like, or if you ever need any advice, or if you just want to go to dinner sometime with somebody who's just willing to listen.